right now, I will need to get my visa from India or China to walk on the moon. But the truth is, human beings will be on the moon. Human beings will be on Mars, will be in the asteroid belt, will be on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune and beyond the solar system. Uh, now, in the remaining two minutes, I'll take two questions of about one minute each. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, so you read from a book that you're working on, or that you've worked on? Well, I, at any given moment, uh, I'm usually working on two or three or four books at, okay, at once. So the question is to you as a science fiction writer, um, how do you keep yourself from judging yourself about the technology that you're creating? Because I've been trying to start, it's like, how do you create this world without being like, oh, but that can't happen and someone else is going to say that's not This is a very right. good question. So, yeah. so my wife and I, as both scientists and professors and professional science fiction writers, we made a lot of mistakes. And finally, we got good advice from, from two friends, from Ray Bradbury and from Stephen King. And they told us the same thing, and therefore suddenly our confidence went, went up. They said, what, what Stephen King said was most compact. He said, what you need to do is alternately write and edit. When you write, the door is closed. The door is closed. You have music on that you like to listen to, but you tell whoever else is in that building, do not open my door unless the house is on fire. You write with the door closed. <coughs> You edit with the door open. So what you want to do is subscribe to my Facebook page and every day you will see a new chapter of science fiction. One minute, one question. One more question. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on how we'll overcome some of the problems of transporting people long distances through interstellar space, given that there's cosmic particles and all the other um, potential sources of damaging DNA. What are your thoughts on that? What are my thoughts on how you get people to survive long duration space flight given the ionizing radiation which damages DNA? There's two solutions. One is geezers in space. If you're past the age of reproduction, it's only somatic mutation, not genetic mutation. Number two, you want to have sufficiently powerful uh, interplanetary boosters, you can have a lot of shielding water or asteroid or lunar regolith sufficient. So there's more than one solution in 30 seconds, John. Well, actually, uh, I think the reason for that exact question and the reason of providing uh, space travel on this and also the going to uh, post uh, evacuation as powerful as the office of the president of the you're right, there's a biological solution too. So, my time is up, I leave you with this one thought. I am a citizen of the galaxy. Get your passports here during the build conference. Thank you very much.